how's it going? It's Mark. Hope it's uh, hope you're having a great day. So here's another Beatles tune. Uh, Let it be. So fantastic, amazing tune. And if you remember this song, um, which you probably do if you're planning on watching this video, but uh, it's a lot of piano. You know, it's not a whole lot of. There's a little solo section in there, but it, it kind of is a great tune to let you sort of explore maybe your picking side, try different uh, rhythms on the guitar. Um, because it's a whole lot of like, um, you know, cool organ and piano on there. And, um, and uh, so if you're playing by yourself, you can really kind of uh, make it your own, which is pretty cool. So anyway, let's go over the chords, let's zoom in and look at that. So the basic chords are G and, and we've gone over these chords before, so um, I won't, I'll just do a quick recap, but uh, so, oh, well, I should start this out. You see this big red thing here. The capo is on the guitar. Uh, fifth, uh, fifth fret. Uh, you don't have to play with the capo, but if you want to play along to the track, uh, this lets you play along to the track. If you, you know, you can, um, when I play it by myself, I don't put the capo on there. Pardon me. I don't put the capo on there because I have a low voice. So, but um, if you want to play along to the track while you're learning it, uh, this is uh, perfect. So put it on the fifth fret. Okay, so the chords are G. So uh, third fret, uh, one and six. Fifth fret, uh, fifth string two. So first and sixth string, third fret, uh, fifth string, second fret. Then D, which is uh, first and third string, second fret, second string, third fret. All right. Um, e minor, fifth and sixth string, second fret. C. So that is second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret, fifth string, third fret. We've got G, D, E minor, C. And that's it. Yeah, I'm just double checking. Okay. Um, so that's it. It's really a, f a few chords, no, uh, no big deal. It's a great, great tune, very simple tune, but very, very well done. So anyway, it starts out on G. And uh, you know, like I said, you can do whatever rhythm you want. So uh, it does a instrumental part. So G, D, E minor. C, G, D, C, okay, to G, and that is, that's half the whole uh, chord progression for the whole song. So that's the, the intro and the verse chord progression. And you'll notice that this little thing, this little cool bass rundown. So I'm from C uh, on the fifth string, you go fifth string, third fret, second fret, open, and then sixth string, third fret. Okay. Okay, so that is the verse and the intro chord progression. And then the only other chord progression is the chorus. And that goes like this, it goes E minor. Let it be E minor, let it D. Let it C, let it G, G to D to C, and it does that same little rundown, okay? And that is the whole song. The only thing that's a tiny bit different is there's this little kind of breakdown section right before the solo, and um, it takes the second half of the verse chord progression, but it just plays in a little different rhythm. So it goes like this, it goes. Okay, so it's a little jump there, but okay. So I'll go through a little bit of it to kind of get you familiar with it. Um, and then you can play the song, uh, play it live for yourself. So here we go. This is the intro, G, D, minor, C, G, D, C, 
не Again, the of darkness, E minor, C, G, D, C, and then the verse or the chorus. Let it E minor, let it D, let it C, oh, let it G, G, E, D. As you can see, it's just those two chord progressions back to back over and over. I think when I just played that verse, I played it twice as long as it should have been. Because um, I think the first time it plays it half speed, half as long, and then the second time it plays it twice as long. Um, so that's the whole song. So go forth with your chord progression and, and uh, let it be. So, cool. Have a good one. Peace.